My name is Tyler Slade. I'm with Slade Roofing. What we're going to do is we're going to take an AR-15 with a can cannon mount and we're going to shoot ice to simulate hail at the Malarkey Highlander necks. The Certainteed Landmark Gaff Owens Corning Duration. So we're going to shoot simulated hail at this and see how it does. If you look down here, we've got some damage to this shingle. We've got a little bit of damage up here on the corner and a little bit right there. Gaff got hit with the cup, put a hole right here, but it also got hit with ice and has a hole right here. It got hit with another piece of ice and put a nice big dent in it right there. We got a ginormous break to the shingles there. This is the next gen, no damage as of yet to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go buy some soda cans and shoot those at it. We come over here to the certainty. Um, absolutely destroyed and then the shingles are blown off the top. We've got the um, gaff that's been destroyed, also lost a shingle. We've got holes and tearing and then we've got the duration. It stayed on just like the malarkey. We got a massive bruise here. If you look over here at the malarkey, there is virtually no damage done to this shingle. We've been shooting it from uh, 15 feet. Anyway, I'm sold on the uh, malarkey Highlander neck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll these up and stand on them to basically simulate how well they're gonna hold on to their granules in extreme abuse. We're starting here with the BP uh, Mystique, and uh, here we go. I'll unroll them here. So this is the, um, the BP shingle, and it's obviously completely destroyed. This could not be reused. I mean, we've got holes and breaks and cracks all the way along it. Let's try the um, Pabco again. It, it broke right away, all the way across, it's broken. Um, the other thing that you don't see what, that I would like to is it did not even stick down to itself, even though it sat in the sun probably the longest. All right, to the Owens Corning. We've got a big crack right here. Owens Corning at least stuck to itself. You'll see down here where it glued itself down. I don't consider that a bad thing. I think that's good, because that's what it's supposed to do. It's got the, the glue on the back, and it needs to adhere to the shingle underneath it in order to work right. But again, broken here, 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 here really bad. Came loose on the corner and completely tore. Okay, so here we are with the gaff. It's just completely destroyed on this end over here. I would say it held up just as bad or worse than the BP and the Pabco. It did, however, glue down to itself. You can see that there. Again, I think that's a good thing because that means it's adhering quickly, um, but broken in multiple places as you look through, especially that seam there. All right, we've got the certainty. Again, completely destroyed, broken here, 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 and here. However, it did not tear like the Gaff, the Owens Corning, and the uh, Pabco. It did glue to itself, which is awesome. Tab down. And then we've got the Malarkey uh, Highlander necks. Notice here there are absolutely no breaks in it. You see a little bit of a crease right here where I rolled it really, really tight. Um, it did glue down to itself. You can see the glue track. That would appear to be damaged, but that's actually a good thing. It means it's adhering to the one underneath it. It's going to blow off. But uh, notice, even if I turn it over, you see no breaks. And this one rolled up tighter than all of the rest. Again, holding on to its rocks. If I were to get these out and dump off the rocks of it, nothing.